Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys an amazing tactic to save battery life on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone in relation to the 120 hertz refresh rate. So this is going to be a great hack. So first let's quickly identify the problem. So if I go to my settings and if I go all the way down, I can go to developer options, I can click on this and if you don't see yours, simply go into about phone and go into software information and tap on the bill number seven times and that's going to enable the developer options. Now once you're there, scroll down and enable the refresh rate option, which is going to be right here. It says show refresh rate, enable it. Once you enable that, you'll see the refresh rate on the top. So it's running at 60 because I'm not touching the screen, but as I touch the screen, it goes to 120. Okay, that's expected. That's normal. That's how the phone saves battery. Okay, because the high refresh rate eats more battery. If you're not touching the screen, it goes to 60 to conserve battery. That's all normal stuff and the hack is related to this. So one app that we use all the time is the YouTube application. So I'm going to launch it right now. Okay. Once I launch this application, take a look at what happens. So it is at 60 when I'm not touching the screen, but as I'm scrolling just to read the uh, comments, or if I'm trying to make a response to any one of these comments, you can see it, it wavers between 120, uh, 60. But the problem is when I play, when I play a video, okay, it wavers between 120 and 60, but the video itself is only 60 Hertz. So as I touch the phone, if I'm watching a video, if I'm trying to look at other videos, it is going up to 120 and 60, even though the end result, when I'm playing the video, it is always going to be 60. So that 120 is killing the battery. So I'm going to give you guys a hack that fixes this and keeps the YouTube app, app at 60 hertz at all times. That's going to save you battery dramatically because YouTube is an application we use all the time. So let me show you exactly how to create that hack. But before that, a quick message from our sponsor. Hey guys, check out one of my favorite new apps. Microsoft Bing, who is also the sponsor of this video. Now, I did not know that the Bing app was as cool as this. You launch it and you get a personalized home screen with weather, news, awesome deals, and even free wallpapers all tailored for you. So here's the home page and I can click on wallpapers and get access to all these gorgeous and free wallpapers that I can set on my smartphone. I can even rate the stories fed to me by swiping left or right on the story and record request more of the same or less of it so it is a fully personalized experience. The best part is you can even save money and earn cash back when you shop online or locally. All you do is tap on the deals icon that will list a whole bunch of deals for online or local shopping such as cash back at popular stores. For instance, you can get 4% cash back at Samsung and many more places. And like I said, this is for online or local shopping. Under your apps screen, you you even have this cool little math app that will literally allow you to snap a photo of a math question and get a detailed answer. Then there's something really special happening for Christmas. From December 22nd to December 29th, Microsoft Bing will have a special in-app Christmas event, which will allow you to launch the app and shake the Christmas tree by shaking your phone to earn up to $500 cash back per person. The money you earn can be paid out to yourself via PayPal. This is going to be an incredible way to earn some money during Christmas. So the link to download the app is below 100% free. Grab it now. All right. So here's what you want to do to activate this hack. You go to your settings. Okay. And then you go over to your advanced features. And then you go into your Bixby routines, which is going to be right here. Make sure it is enabled. So go inside and simply tap on this button to go to add routine. Now, once you add the routine, you tap on plus. Okay. So that's if something that I'm about to select is happening on my phone. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to say if an application is open and I want that application to be YouTube. All right. And by the way, you can do this with every other video application to save battery. So anyway, we're using the YouTube as an example. So if YouTube app is running, if it is opened, then click here. All you want to do is go to display and go to motion smoothness and screen resolution and make sure this goes to standard as soon as you, you, you launch the YouTube application. 
This is an automation tactic, okay? So tap on OK, click Next, give it a name, YouTube Battery Saver, okay, BS. <laughs> Let's just put Saver. Okay, so YouTube Battery Saver, and then click Done. Now this routine has been added to your phone. When I don't have the YouTube application running or if it's in the background, look at what happens. Business as usual, you get your smooth scrolling, 120 hertz, no problem. But when I launch the application, look at what happens. It takes a second to activate, so I'm gonna launch it. Okay, and look at that, it's stuck at 60. As I scroll, it's, it just stays at 60. It does not waver between 120 and 60 all the time. So as I'm responding to co comments, as I'm reading the comments, I am not gonna be wasting battery. But as soon as I exit the YouTube application, I get back my full 120 hertz for smooth scrolling around my phone. But like I said, in the YouTube application, you really don't need that smooth scrolling, okay? So look at that, no matter what I do, it just uh, stays at 60, and that's fine with me if it's gonna save me battery life. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day. Stay tuned for more Bixby routine-related hacks.